Hello friends! Today's video is my last hurrah with Melody before she went home. We hit some garage sales and the Canton Goodwill bins. Are you ready? Let's get started. So we went to this sale and this lady and her daughter were having so much fun with this garage sale and I spent seven dollars. So let's see. I'm gonna show you a grab bag, which I love those. I could actually kind of see through what was in it. These items are going into my booth. There was this grinder. I think this is like a meat grinder. These are all tiny replicas. Isn't that sweet? There's that one and then a little pot belly stove, like a wood stove. And this is my favorite out of these. It's a little desk like an old school desk. Oh, it says something on the front. School desk and chair, number 25. And the desk actually opens. You can put some little treasures in there. And then this one, it's part of a, what do you call it? Bubble gum machine. I'm imagining that the globe broke and maybe this sat on top of the globe. I thought it was a turtle at first. <laughs> But I don't know if anybody will want that or not. I suppose you could repurpose it for something. I'm not sure what, but that'll probably go in my booth for just a small amount of money. I have a little trivia for you, and I thought this would be fun. I used to have a collection when I was a kid, and I want to know if you have any idea what that collection was. If you do, put it in the comments below right now, and we'll see if you were right. I'll give you a couple clues. So I collected mostly ceramic figurines. I think maybe some of them are plastic too. And the funnest thing that I got was a huge, I almost said what it was, a huge stuffed animal, very tall, probably about four to five feet tall. Any ideas? Okay, this next item, we'll give it away. Ta-da! <laughs> I had a frog collection. Kind of wished I would have kept it. It was a lot of fun, but I just got tired of it because every time there was an occasion, somebody got me a frog and that was all that I ever got. But I looked these up. I'll put the comp up on the screen and this will be going in my booth. It is a frog choir or musical frog trio with the votive candle. The nice lady at the garage sale went in her house and got me the votive candle for it. She did not put it outside because it was a very hot day and she didn't want it to melt. So I thought that was super sweet, but aren't they cute? I will show you the bottom. Not much to see here, but that's going in my booth. Absolutely as soon as I can, because I think somebody will want that for the summer. Wouldn't that be cute to put out on your patio, on the table to have a little ambiance? <laughs> All right, then I will show you this in a separate clip because it's so big and I don't want to break it, but I did get this and it's going in my booth. So stay tuned for that. And this is probably my favorite item of the whole haul. I'll let you know when we're done. Look how cute they are. They are not angels. They're just little dolls or little girls. This one's holding a candle. These are by Anesco. I will put the comp up on the screen for you or over there, wherever it ends up. It kind of depends on where I'm sitting and where I can fit it in. And then this one's holding a package. Aren't they so sweet? I love the little ribbon or bow in the back and the little holly on their dresses. So those are staying with me. Oh, look at her hair too. She's got bows and little pigtails, and then she has one bow on the top of her head. That's probably my favorite. Oh, I'm just looking at some other things that are probably my favorite too. <laughs> Another garage sale we hit. An older gentleman was running the sale by himself. Must have been told by his wife to get rid of everything. I don't know. But I did find this for my booth, and I'm really excited about it. I paid $3 for this. Love the green handles. And I thought that would be the best one I've ever had in my booth. Uh, nothing as exciting with the handles as that one. This next trio of items I'm keeping for myself. These are by Threshold, which is Target. 
Look how vintage they look. They are not vintage, but they are made to look vintage. I love, love, love these. There's three different plates. They do need a good washing, especially that first one. Look how cute they are. So those were $2 for all three of them. And then with the rolling pin, that would make five. And so I decided to ask if I could get this thrown in for free. And he said, sure. Look, there's a double side to it. I just think this is so cool. This, of course, is going to match my kitchen. I will probably be keeping it and just use it in little vignette. Vignettes? <laughs> Vid now I can't say it. Vig vignettes. Vignettes. <laughs> I think I was on the right track and I got myself tripped up. But isn't that pretty? I have a lot of favorites. Okay, so that's going in at the end. Now let's switch over to the Canton Goodwill bins. It was really hot that day and I thought Melody would want to call it a day, but she wanted to go to the Canton Goodwill bins and I was all for that. I didn't find a lot and I spent under a dollar for everything. One of the items I got was some cat gift wrap paper and I already sent that off to my friend Dusty. So if you'd like to see the video where she showed what she gave, no she didn't give it to me, what I gave her, I sent her a box of friend mail. So I will link that video for you so you can see what else I gave her and if you haven't checked out her channel it's called My Thrifted Home. I'll put a link for that as well. So go and check out her channel. Also, I did get a brown Coca-Cola glass, and I'll have to see. I buy those up one at a time usually, and then I match them up with others I have in my basement. I think I may stop buying Coca-Cola glasses because they're not a real great seller. They take a long time. Okay, then I picked up this. It says Reese Mobile Homes, Inc. It's, it had two locations, Empire and Marietta, Ohio. I do put these in my booth along with yardsticks, and usually they are slow sellers, but they don't take up a lot of space. And then I was tickled to find this. Let me get it straight here. I have the Easter eggs by this same candy company. It's called Heidel Confectionery, and I guess this is on Crooked, but I'm not going to worry about fixing it now. But they are just so cute the way they have these decorated. And then this one becomes an ornament and I'm sure it had chocolate inside of it. Haven't decided, but I'll probably be selling that in my booth. So here's what was inside of the box that I didn't want to break and hold up and show you. It's called an antique brass magnifying wall sconce and it was made in India. So you can put a candle right here on that little plate and then I'm assuming it makes a pretty sight with the magnifier on it. I'm gonna try and hold it up here without busting it. Let's see, let's put it up on my coffee table here. Cross your fingers, I don't wanna break it. Okay. So there, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make us all dizzy, but there's what it looks like, kind of. <laughs> That's it for the hauls from the Canton Goodwill bins and the garage sailing of the day. I have a couple other things to share with you. I wanted to show you a surprise that I had at the Majestic Turnaround. I was so tickled. I went into my booth and lo and behold, there was a present there and it had this card on it. The envelope says, Carol, read card before opening. So I, I got this card. Look how cute it is. It's got flowers and birds and it says, Hi Carol, I know you're always picking up this theme from watching your YouTube channel. It may help you with your Christmas shopping. And it's from my friend, Joan. Her booth number is number 52. So if you ever do make it down to the Majestic Turnaround, ask where her booth is and check it out. So it took me a while to figure out what she meant. She had these towels for me and they were all wrapped together in this real cute piece of tulle tool. I think that's how you say it. And I thought, hmm, 
I know that she is noticing that I collect dish towels is what I was thinking, but how does that help me with my Christmas shopping? Then a couple days later, I finally opened them up and look, <laughs> this says, fa la 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 llama. <laughs> so this one is the llama one and then the gray one is plain and they are a little set and guess who those are going to? My daughter who collects llamas. She's going to be thrilled. So thank you so much, Joan. Nobody's ever left me a present in my booth. That was a very much appreciated surprise. I also wanted to show you this cute little birdhouse. It goes so good with my theme. And another item. These are both from my friends John and Jason. They have a booth down at Majestic as well. So you need to check out their booth and it's booth number 20. Here's the other item. Look at the cute little Uncle Sam and it is a votive candle holder and I will just be using it for decor for now, but in the future I could always use it for a candle holder. Isn't he sweet? I also have this beautiful rug I wanted to show you. My friend BJ gave it to me and it's handmade. And I just love the colors of it. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it because I really, really like it. This is the other item that BJ gave me. It is an Afghan. Afghan? <laughs> Why do I say that funny? An Afghan that her mother made. And on camera, this is coming off more teal, but it's really green. I don't know. I just won't pick up the color, but I just love it. It reminds me of one my grandma made because it's the same zigzaggy pattern and almost the same colors. So thank you so much, BJ. Good morning. How are you? I'm just fine having a good night's rest. Oh, you did. That's yes, wonderful. Did. You ready for a good day? Yes, I am. Okay, say hello to all your fans. <laughs> I didn't know I had fans, but... <laughs> I'm glad if I do, and I say hi to all of you. Give them a big wave. <laughs> say bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. See you. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> you are funny. Funny. Uh -huh. Funny. Okay. Funny. <laughs> that's good. I think that's it for my haul and the things that I wanted to show you. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. That wraps up the Melody and Carol tour for this time, but she's coming again soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.